Hey guys, it's Kiki here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been doing excellent. I've been doing great. I just want to take a little time, rest, you know, just get some much needed relaxation. But I'm back. In today's video, we're going to be testing out a new product. I picked this up from Target. This is the, the dry and wet detangler and it is The Knot Doctor. This is by Conair. I saw this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try this out because I always have issues detangling. Wet, dry, I mainly do it on wet hair now just because it's easier, but I still be getting some knots. So I said, you know what? We're gonna try this today. Yo, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications, that way you know when I post. Also follow me on social media so you can keep up with me when I'm not on here. As you can see, my hair is dry. I did um, another blowout. Well, not blow out, but I blow dried it again. But this time I did the tension method. Um, so yeah, she's a little dry. The ends, I'm actually gonna get it straightened next week so I can get my ends trimmed like accurately because I need a trim. I feel, mm, I, I don't feel like my hair is growing at its full potential. And you know when you don't trim your ends, your hair just keeps breaking up to the hair shaft, which prevents your hair from growing. So y'all can be mad at me all you want. It's summertime, I know it ain't gonna last, but I'm doing it for purposes of trimming. Anywho, I need to wash my hair right now and get some moisture, I need to decondition. But the purpose of this video is to test out this detangler and I'm going to be pre-pooing. I've never pre-pooed before. I heard that it helps with the detangling and whatnot, it helps with breakage during wash day. I lose a lot of hair during wash day. So I will definitely wanna, ooh, look at that. That was my fault. Definitely wanna try this to see what we, you know, what we got going on. So I'ma just split my hair. The only reason that came out decently straight is because I always use the middle part, so. <laughs> Before some of you be like, oh, how did that part come out kind of straight? My hair is basically trained with a middle part. This is my first time using clamps. I don't know how they work, so don't come for me. But I feel like this will lessen breakage as well because I'm not constantly using a hair bow. So I'm just gonna, ooh, I guess I need some bigger clamps, guys. And the face is looking a little bit ashy because I just washed her. So, you know, it happens. Okay, so what I'm going to be using to pre-poo is water, of course. And I take my ring off when I do my hair because it tangles on there really bad. I'm using my pure coconut oil here. I got this from my local beauty supply store. You can use conditioner whatever you want to use so but I'm gonna try oil today and if that doesn't suffice then I'll definitely try conditioner so this is what the brush looks like here very nice very nice packaging I like that it comes with this case I ain't never seen this before I like that this comes in a case because when we travel I'm ready. But I don't like for my brush to just be loose catching on dust and whatever, so this is perfect. Okay, nice padding on the inside. And then this is the brush. So we gonna see. I don't know if it's firm enough for me. Oh, I got a little oil on there already, but it's okay. But we're gonna see how this is. The bristles are kind of spread differently. They're kind of bowing out just a little bit. So it's not like, you know, a traditional brush, but we gonna see if this gets the job done. It says, extra large bristle tips to gently massage the scalp, blow dryer friendly bristles. It does the removal of knots, and it says it's basically painless knot surgery. So we gonna see y'all, we gonna see. Okay, so that's not the way. This is my section. I wanna try to detangle on dry hair first just to see at the ends first uh, 
I'm not tender headed, but I can still feel pulling, of course. It, that's gonna happen. But the real test comes when your hair is wet. So let's do that. Okay, ooh, that's a little bit too wet. And go ahead and put some oil on here. Ooh. So I'm just making sure to work that coconut oil into my hair from root to tips. And then I'm gonna go back in with my brush and lightly detangle. Then I'm gonna move up to the next section and basically repeat the same steps. I'm gonna gently detangle my ends on dry hair. I'm not pulling it out, but I'm just gently detangling to get rid of any knots. Then I'm gonna go in with my mister I purchased this from Sally's if you wasn't aware. And then I'm going to work the water into my hair and then apply the coconut oil. Work that in all the way to the ends. And then I'm gonna detangle again. And I'm very excited to be pre pooing for the first time because I wanna see how this is gonna help. I have very dry ends right now. That's why I'm going to get it trimmed next week. Because I want to make sure I get rid of all of the dead ends. The ones that I couldn't see when I was blow drying. You can pre-poo with any oil or any conditioner. I wanted to try it out with the oil this time. To see how it would do. And then later on in the future I'll definitely try it with conditioner. And see which method works better for me. But my hair has been tangling really bad lately. It is tightly coiled. The ends are dry and I just feel like I shed a little bit more than usual. So in order to help that before I get my ends trimmed, I chose to do the pre-poo. And there's a good bit of benefits for pre-pooing. Um, it helps with detangling. That's one of the main reasons why I dread wash day is because of the detangling. I will definitely try to stretch as far as the earth can go <laughs> before I wash my hair. And this is supposed to help with detangling. It really is right now, but my hair was already stretched. So I can't really say yet, um, but I definitely try it when my hair is in a shrunken state. And the second thing is it adds moisture. I know a lot of shampoos strip the moisture out of your hair when you wash and I feel like adding this moisture before I shampoo will aid in that um, locking a little bit more moisture in. I read that it also improves manageability. Um, it helps soften your hair so you can be able to manage it better and I can see that. I can definitely see it. And then it prepares you for the shampoo process, of course, makes shampooing easier. So as you can see in that shot there, my hair is dry as ever up there. And I definitely needed some moisture. It's been a little minute since I deep conditioned. I'm so guilty, <laughs> but I'm taking my time with this wise day, pre-pooing, deep treatment, everything I need it I definitely try to do the best that I can with my hair and I think I've been doing a pretty good job but I'm so ready to get it straightened and get those ends trimmed because I'm ready to see the difference that I know it's gonna make but I'm just applying some more oil and water to this section and is going to repeat the same steps it did not take me long to do this at all and it was very easy this brush like see how that glides yes <laughs> but I really like this brush it, it's doing a good job I haven't had any like violent tangles you know the ones that hurt that leave you like what I haven't had any violent tangles you know any serious breakage so i'm with it i i like it a lot
my go-to oil of choice is usually a uh, Jamaican black castor oil just because it coats my hair very nicely um, but this coconut oil is doing good my hair feels a lot softer and manageable and just nice it feels good so I'm definitely going to keep pre-pooing in the future because I definitely think this will contribute to better wash days I feel like I'll lose a lot less hair I just feel like this is a very beneficial step that I have never done I don't know why because kinda I be lazy but you know when you want something to flourish you gotta put in a little extra work especially your hair so I already deep condition and do like protein treatments and hot oil treatments sometimes but definitely pre-pooing is added to the regimen from here on out there is a boatload of natural hair rules that i don't follow so if you're interested in hearing those just let me know down below i can make a video in the future about it but let me know if you guys pre-poo uh i think this is something like i said that i'm gonna continue doing i'm really enjoying it and i feel like this is much needed for my hair Okay, yeah, so my hair is fully detangled, moisturized with water and coconut oil. I have to say this brush did a pretty good job. I didn't really feel any pulling or snagging like, like where you get caught. I didn't feel any of that. And this is all of the hair that I lost, which is not a lot considering the fact that I haven't detangled my hair in over five days. So this is really good for me because I can lose a lot of hair during the wash day and the detangling, deep conditioning, I can lose a lot of hair. So this cut down a lot of the detangling hair that I lose. And I don't think this is a lot, but let me know if you think it is. But overall, I recommend this brush. Like, I think it's changed the game for me. It was $14.99, so it wasn't breaking your pockets. And I really enjoyed the fact that even though it's real, very glossy right now from the oil, my hand wasn't like slipping off. So it still had good grip. The bristles bend just enough. So when your hair is coming through, they're not just stiff because it's moving with your hair. It's not moving against it. I feel like when you have a brush that moves against your hair it creates more breakage but this moves with it i honestly thought these were too soft to detangle my hair with because my hair is thick but i think it was perfect i really did enjoy this brush and i recommend that you go try it out too to see if it makes your wash date or pre-pooing anything detangling easier because the ultimate test is when I got my tight curls in after washing so if you want to see that let me know and I will definitely update a video um, showing how well this brush detangles with my shrunken tight or curled hair so we'll see how it does then but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm about to go wash my hair now I will see y'all in my next one bye